definitely had the dream to, to play professional sports. And you, you went to sleep with it, you woke up about it, you shot that last shot to win games so many times out there by yourself or when you were sitting around daydreaming. So uh, you just have to go after your dreams. In those days in particular, um, when people thought about basketball, they never thought about people in Georgia playing basketball at all. So it was more of a football uh, state. There were so many barriers to entry for us to go to big colleges. So we weren't gonna get the big offers in basketball. And at any university you went to, you just wanted to have the opportunity to showcase. I came from a good program, so I was pretty confident if I got the opportunity, I could make a team. Now you don't walk in thinking you're gonna get in and become a pro player. I think that evolves and develop over a few years. So the biggest thing, I was little, you're six feet tall, basketball is a big man's game. How do you um, distinct, uh, distinguish yourself? How do you uh, um, compete against the guys coming from the bigger university if you got the opportunity in the pros? So the biggest barrier to entry w was getting an opportunity to showcase what you could do. When I started out playing uh, uh, basketball, I think you always dream of watching yourself play on Sundays because again, when I started playing, you only had about two or three television stations <laughs> and games only came on on Sunday. So I think you sat and you watched the games, you watched, you watched those guys play, then you go in the backyard, you know, one day, I really want to do that. I really want to get an opportunity to do that.